Good morning, garden friends. Welcome back to Not Quite Homesteading, ESQ Garden. Today, I am going to be harvesting some things that look like they're about to try to bolt and just some things that I've been needing to harvest probably for like the last week or so. Um, it is it is 68 degrees right now. Our humidity is 90%. It is 10.13 a.m. and it is blazing hot outside. So I'm trying to get out there really quickly before it gets a little bit more unbearable to be out there just moving around. And I wanted to take you guys along on this harvest with me because Many of you said you were interested in more harvest videos and I get it. Those are my favorite kinds of videos too. So definitely wanted to bring you guys along for that. I appreciate you guys for stopping by another video. And if you are new here, if you're a gardening enthusiast, if you're a new gardener yourself, like me looking for uh, community support, or if you just love a good gardening journey, take a moment, hit that subscribe button. Let's engage in the comments, have some fun around this gardening thing and learn, sow and grow together. So. I'm going to grab my bowl uh, and my garden shears and get out here because y'all, <laughs> if it's one thing I'm learning really quickly and I kind of knew this, but when it starts to get hot for real, and I mean, tomorrow is going to be a good example. It's going to be seven, 77 degrees. Um, it probably will be around the same humidity. I'm going to have to be out in this garden harvesting and taking care of stuff between like 6 and 8 a.m. Because once 8 o'clock comes during like those warmer spring months in the summer, you can forget about it. It is not happening, not here, not where I am. So let's go ahead and get out here so we can get this stuff and get it inside. Um, I'm going to go ahead and water the container garden while I'm out there. I'm not going to take you guys along for that, but... Um, while I'm out there, that's what I'm going to do because it looks like like my peas and things need some water as well. But let's go ahead and get this food so we can get back inside. So I have two of them. One is not really as ready as the other one. But just because of the weather that we've been having, um, that one also looks like it's going to bolt too. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just pull both of them. And that, I guess, will give me incentive to get out here and actually plant the next set of crops, right? They should anyway. <laughs> Look this whole thing. She's pretty. It was nice and tight, but you can see it's starting to like separate some. So we don't want that. Just gonna pull her out. Ooh. And this one, while not as big, this one is starting to separate as well. So go ahead and get that off of there. But they both look pretty good. I'm hoping that doesn't affect my cauliflower because they were definitely giving some shade to the cauliflower as well. So, oh, like that. <laughs> I think it was. All right, and you guys can see we have a ton of collard greens over here that need to be harvested. For a second, I didn't know if these were collard greens or cabbages because of like one, how big they were growing, but two, then it just started to look like the leaves were folding on itself when they were um coming up and i was like i thought they were collards but then it was like well at first i did think they were cabbages because i thought that's what i transplanted but apparently i planted way more collards than i thought i did and oh why is there like dirt in my fingers in there <laughs> and then um once they got tall i was like oh, okay they're definitely collards but then i was like the leaves were folding in i was like wait are they cabbages and they just have more room, but no, they're definitely collared. So don't be like me. Learn your bra <laughs> learn your brassicas. <laughs> because this has been a struggle, y'all. I thought I transplanted cauliflower. It turned out to be broccoli. Over here thinking my collard is a cabbage and vice versa. And I'll be honest, like I'm going to cut this and I'm still not sure. But <laughs> I'm gonna cut it and pray for the best because Those seem awfully short to be collard greens, you know?
so. Have y'all ever seen that? That is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I don't particularly see the brush. Let's see. Do I really need this little scissor thing? I feel like it's, it gets a little bit tougher to pull them. All right, so I think that's all I'm gonna pull for the collard greens. That definitely opens this up and gives it quite a bit more um, space here. And what I think that means I'm gonna do is bring out my, um, I think I'm gonna bring out my soil, start amending this bed where it's like open and getting my other stuff planted in. And you guys know, like I always talk about my um, parsley plant. Like I love this plant, right? Y'all see why? Like you remember the last time, um, I think it was a few videos ago, I had cut this like all the way back. And this plant is like literally half the bag. And it's super dark green, really, really healthy. And I just love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this out. I'm not gonna cut a lot today because I only wanted to make um I'm gonna be making some like tuna and chicken salad so I'll go ahead and pull out just enough for what I need just absolutely beautiful and that's all I'm gonna actually take because I want that to stay out here and just look as pretty as it does and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of these green onions for the tuna salad that I'm making as well Green onions are really hard to pull out. Um, their roots are something serious down here. Oh, I got a weed in there. But um, they are something serious, like when they attach. <laughs> and you just want to make sure you get them good from the root, otherwise they will grow back. Yes, yeah, so I noticed that like a lot of my older green onions, they definitely have like some of that blight on them that they're trying to get to. So I'll go ahead and cut some of that off, but um, I would suggest trying to harvest your green onions before they get to this stage because this is typically when they'll kind of suffer from that blight and stuff. And the reason I want to open up this center is because I'm going to be direct sowing some plants there soon. So I just want to have that center corridor open. So I'm just like pulling these out. I have more than enough green onions to not really worry about that. Worry about just pulling them out instead of letting them grow back. But now my understanding is this is like, obviously I'm going to cut that off, but it's not something that keeps you from being able to eat the plant per se, but you obviously don't want to let it spread across like, you know, plants that don't actually have it if you can avoid it so i've been trying to pull them out i have pulled some out that really just had to go out but um i'm gonna go ahead and use these today i'll just wash them up real good all right but that's virtually it friends so i think we got a pretty decent sized harvest for today and i'm really excited about this i want to get these inside because obviously when it's hot leafy greens tend to wilt in the heat so i don't want to leave them out here too long to where they're going to wilt um, but I'll go ahead and get these soaking, get them prepped up and preserved so that we can enjoy our harvest when we're ready. That's it for this video, friends. I hope you guys enjoy coming along with me. I appreciate you spending your time with me today. And let's continue learning, sewing, and growing together. Until our next garden update, friends. Bye.